There we go. We got that going up. Just gotta get the... We're right there. Okay, so we lost all of our archers. Don't... What are you doing? Get back here. Build that. Get on this, yeah, get on this side. Build. Come on, let me build the... <laughs> let me build the stupid building. Greetings, everyone. Welcome to Return to Rome. We're gonna go ahead and play through some of the campaigns that I just thought it'd be fun. I have not played Return to Rome yet. I played uh, the uh, Roman expansion to Age of Empires 1 once or twice when I was a real young kid. I played Age 2 off and on for my entire life, and I played Age 3 for a season. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started with this one in the bottom. An unlikely man rises to power in the city-states of Mesopotamia. Sargon is a simple cupbearer to the king. But everything changes when the war of God, the war goddess Ishtar appears in his dream. Under her guidance, Sargon leads the quarreling Sumerians into a new age, but the seductive nature of power forces him to choose between his divine destiny and his personal ambition. In this campaign, you will play as the Sumerians. So like I said, I have not um, played this much recently, so we're going to go ahead and leave it on moderate for now. And let's kick the campaign off here. The ways of the gods are incomprehensible. Far more predictable is the path walked by a man who considers himself a god. So too it was for Sargon, the greatest conqueror Mesopotamia has ever known. Like the legendary shepherd that founded our great city, Sargon seemed to have descended from heaven a grown man. Crafted by the gods to rule the world. But while his true origins remain a mystery, his earthly story began here, in Kish, a place so beautiful that even the lustrous words of the poets cannot do it justice. Back when I, Ushar, was still a man of youthful strength, Kish was ruled by Urza Baba. If the gods had molded Sargon from clouds and ether, Urza Baba was made from common clay. Nothing about him was exceptional, save for his fondness for fine food, extravagant clothes, and luxurious wine. Urza Baba had appointed Sargon as his cupbearer, and the shy, unassuming adolescent served him wine and kept him company in many a lonely hour. Yet, Unbeknownst to the king, Sargon was plagued by a strange, recurring dream. Ishtar, the goddess of war, appeared to Sargon in his sleep and promised him extraordinary things. One day, she said, he would be king not only of Kish, but of all the land between the Euphrates and the Tigris. Not realizing the weight of his words, Sargon told his master of the dream and the king turned pale. Had the boy who served him every day truly been chosen by the goddess of war? Urza Baba could not allow this prophecy to come true. He banished Sargon to the desert, and in doing so, he convinced Sargon that the goddess had spoken truly. Yet banishment was not enough for the frightened king. He soon sent Kish's most vigorous warriors to ambush his former confidant among the dunes. I was one of those men. As a smith, I was the strongest, and when Urza Baba ordered me to swap my hammer for a sword, I accepted, but not without hesitation. By now, the tale of the banished servant and his dreams had spread far beyond the royal palace. Many who suffered under Urza Baba's rule saw Sargon as a savior. When I finally caught up with him at a remote well, he was resting in the shade. I left my sword in its scabbard and faced a man who showed no fear. In his mind, he was no longer a simple servant. He was indeed Ishtar's chosen one.
I love the story narratives in these campaigns. I've always liked learning about the history, and, you know, it's not always accurate, but it's still kind of, uh, you gotta balance history and gameplay and all that to make it enjoyable. Okay, Sargon and Ashar must survive. Sargon is restricted to the Bronze Age and has a population limit of 75, and I do not have the means to build docks yet. Sumerian villagers have high hit points makes them more resistant to wild animals and early enemy rushes. Their fertile farms also yield more food than those of other civilizations. Okay, so we have lots of food opportunities. Priesthoods loyal to Ur Ur Zaba Zerbaba lead the city-states of Sippar, so green, and Borshippa, which is purple, destroying their temples and building your own where they once stood would convince cities to join your cause instead. Okay. Do not hesitate to use Sargon in battle once you have obtained a base. Should he be wounded, he will retreat to your temple and return to fight after he is recovered. Okay, so as long as we have a base, it sounds like we can actually lose Sargon in battle. Uh, after being banished from Kish, Sargon has reached a spring where he can quench his thirst after wandering... Another wanderer has arrived. Is he a friend or an enemy? Urzababa. Urza ah, man. Urzababa. Zab we'll go with that. Is not satisfied with Sargon's exile. Some of the king's infantry and archers, orange, okay, assassins, are roaming the area, probably tasked with assassinating Sargon. Urzababa himself, red, dwells in the capital of Kish, guarded with a strong force of priests and chariots to overthrow... Urza Baba, Sargon must storm Kish Yellow, which is defended by infantry and archers and catapults. Sippar and Borsippa Bor are ruled by the priests loyal to Urza Baba. Sippar's army consists of archers and catapults, while Borsippa primarily uses short swords and axemen. I think axemen are anti cav, which seems a little counterintuitive, but okay. So here we are. Zababa has sent assassins to kill me. How would you know that if you are not one of them yourself? You are perceptive, Sargon. I understand why Urzababa fears you so much, but there is no time to talk. Let me prove my loyalty to you. Right. So there is the traitor called Sargon. What are you waiting for, Shah? Help us hunt down the renegade. Evil Garden. Okay, that seems like a fairly uh, easy ambush to survive. Urzababa will send more assassins. We cannot stay here. But I know of two villages where we could hide for a while. Let's see, it doesn't matter which village we look at. This one has walls, gold, and food. Let's just go in this one for now. It's got gold, stone. Yeah. So the granary is for basically vegetarian food It is supplies. Sargon, the chosen one, who it is said will lead us Sumerians into a new age. You may stay with us as long as you wish, and we will support your cause. Um, let's go ahead and get a storage pit. I feel like getting some gold going is going to be good, too. I know it's real important to consistently create villagers. We'll have them on food. We'll put our army on three for now and we'll have our scout kind of go around a little bit do that up keep that going we gotta let's see gather point town bell so we need 800 food and two tool age buildings to advance oh what do we got here uh urza baba okay well hopefully he doesn't uh let's get our let's try and rescue our scout here That's a temple. We get a priest going, and then we only have archery ranges, it looks like. I'm trying to micro my units here. There we go. So we'll get our temple, and. Okay. So we'll. Uh, put the town center on four so we can keep that going. So, 
You are holed up in a seedy village, Zargon. Rogan? My scouts are everywhere. You can escape sure neither my barracks. eyes nor your fate. Make the monk three. And we'll put them on two and him on one. There we go. Okay, so we got axemen, slingers are anti infantry, strong versus archers and walls. Okay. And short swords are weak versus cavalry. Okay, so those are like anti anti archers. Okay. So we need a market archery range. Okay. So what happens if I run you over here? Do I get both of those? Uh, I'm not getting keeping my uh, town center going here. That's gonna be a mistake. Oh, we got another ambush there. Urzababa rules not only Kish, but also Zippar and Borsippa. It is time that these places bowed to Ishtar's will. Is this one gonna join us? No, I think we probably have to bring our, our hero Abba there. The Evil yeah, so let's go ahead and grab Five more bowmen and five slingers. And then we can get some uh, five of the axemen too. And keep that queued up too. Let's go ahead and get a, I think we need a market to get a farm. So we'll throw that in there. And then we have some hunting we can do. Okay, we're running low on food. Urzababa's forces have Makes occupied sense. several mines in this area. We should seize them. Watch towers. Logan? Let's go ahead and hunt that down. Um, actually, let's grab... Let's go ahead and build a... Uh, Storage pit here. Do not hesitate to send your merchants to us to trade. Build a storage pit and we'll get gather the food from these hunts here. There we go. I'll get us a little bit more food here. Getting this basic uh, army set up is probably going to be good for. Uh, An attack on the heavily guarded southern gates of Kish will cost many lives. Our scouts report that the gates to the north ah. are barely protected, however. Good information. We'll split our hunting party up here. Let's see. Plus two melee attack. Uh, oh, infantry armor. That sounds good. Although we have more archers right now, so let's grab the archer armor instead. Rocket ID. Somos evil body. Once we get the axemen, then we'll go work on clearing out some of these mines and some of this other stuff. Maybe we should probably see about flipping some of these other towns, too. That would probably be wise to look into. Okay, we got lots of uh, lots of food at this point, so let's throw some farms up. What's our population? We're going to need some more houses here. So we'll throw some houses in. Chop again. Keep the villager production going. 
Yuri, Aisa, Rogan, Alamo, Aisa. Gonna get that hunting going. Um, watchtowers are probably gonna be helpful. Abadakas. Abadakas. Okay, there's Ashar. Okay, let's go ahead and make sure that the crossings are clear. Okay. You can go ahead and build some more farms. And we'll get more melee attack here. Then we'll also probably want to clear out these farms and whatnot. Uh, can we build domestication trade car? There it is. Now we're gonna lose some axemen here. It looks like. Oh no! Didn't lose anyone. Let's see what happens when we bring um, bring our army straight in there. That's. Probably trade now. Alamas. So we'll go ahead and grab Alamas. this one up here. Alamas. Oh. Alamas. Alamas. Get them all nice and close and ambush. There we go. Yeah, it looks like we get to choose one of the two villages, which is fine. Because, like they said, we can trade with them up here. Um, so let's go ahead and see what we can do against Orsipa up there. And I gotta keep keep up with my villager production. Uh, let's see, cherry archers are gonna be good. Need 800 food and market archery. Okay, so we're we're set on we're set on building. So now it's just a matter of gathering food and managing the economy well. Go ahead and build a new storage pit. Throw it right up here. Oh, that's bad timing. Um, we'll get five more bowmen in there. Of course, I sent my priest away. At least they're hitting the building and not my uh, my villagers. So that could have been a lot worse. Let's go ahead and get more slingers there too. Okay, I got four. Okay. Go ahead and add the uh, villagers there. So we gotta get some stone here too. So we'll have you repair that and then work on that. Uh, how's our population? We're capped at 75, I think is what it said. We have 24, so we're probably going to want to keep... Well, I don't know. Uh, let's go ahead and sell some... Uh, wood and buy some food. And we can go ahead and age up. And then we can look at... Let's see. More missile weapon range. Okay, so that probably includes our archers too, I would imagine. Uh, double preset points, they move faster. Definitely gonna wanna build some more uh, houses there. And we'll want infantry armor too. That guy healing up. Bronze Age is coming up. Yeah, so we're gonna go work towards the uh, Borsippa faction here in just a second. Okay, so. There we go. And then once the Slinger comes out, Weak versus Archers. Okay, so we'll grab five more Axemen too. So let's go ahead and grab the archers and the slingers, and we'll put them in control group two, and then we'll have our melee units in control group one. 
And we'll go ahead and grab these guys and have them build a couple more barracks. Bombus. 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 Okay, uh, all-purpose infantry, weak versus cavalry. So we'll grab them too. We got a couple of uh, idle villagers here. We got our all three of our barrackses. Let's go ahead and move our town center down a number and we can put our uh, military production on three. Uh, let's see, so we have government center, another temple, town center. I guess we can't build more of those. Let's go ahead and build a government center, see what kind of upgrades we can get from that. And three, let's go ahead and get short swordsmen out as well. Uh, we can also look into maybe getting some uh, either upgrading our probably want to upgrade our, our walls and our sentry tower. Um, definitely going to want to continue to upgrade our melee units. Oh, we got an attack coming in here. Oh, we got catapults coming from the other side. Okay. So we'll have our... There we go. We got our archers dealing with this side. Let's have our infantry spread out. That group go up there. This group keep coming over here. Okay, so we really got to make some inroads here in clearing out the uh, the allies there. Uh, we're definitely going to want to build a siege workshop. Looks like we can now build more town centers too. Let's see. Uh, more horse and camel. Shared exploration with allies. Better, faster walls. Barracks units take up less population. That sounds insane. Uh, let's see, do we have any upgrades for the the bowmen? We do not. Okay. Um, uh, that's supposed to be on four. You can be on three. Um, let's see here. Let's go ahead and have... Uh, what's happening? Oh, now we're being attacked by Kish. Okay. I feel like we're going to need some way to deal with the... Um, Two used to games you can pause. Uh, did we just lose the game? I hope we did not just lose the game. Uh, it hasn't said we lost the game, but one of the objectives was to. Okay, never mind. Alright, let's go ahead and advance out here. Get two villagers going. There we go. Okay. Uh, what are we missing? We're missing food. Alright, that's fine. That'll come back up here. Um, we're probably going to also want a siege workshop to build some catapults. Because I believe our sieve benefits from catapults. So we'll go ahead and do this and see what we can what damage we can get done here. Let's grab the slingers and have them target that. And the bowmen. Focus fire that down. Let's get this sentry tower out of the way. Oh, we're getting hit. Uh, our villagers are taking damage. Yeah, we're gonna need a reinforcement. Uh, these guys. I want to move up here. I don't want to engage that tower. So I don't think we need to. 
think all we need to do is tear down the, uh, I think we just have to tear down, okay, okay, so more. Uh, Oh man. Our food is hurting. Okay, there's that. Oh. We can tear that down. You guys can build that. And get you guys to build a storage pit over there. And you guys to. Okay. Oh, you guys up there. Not the remains of Borzipa's temple, but smoking ruins. Build a new place of worship here so that the people can henceforth dedicate their lives to Ishtar. Okay, so now I gotta just get up there and build a new temple. Okay, what do we got? We got military and military. Okay, that's good. Okay, so we have our siege workshop. Let's go ahead and grab three stone throwers. Oh, that stone did not last very long. I guess we have a bunch of villagers working it. Um, let's go ahead and get some farms built around here. Get eight farms going up there. And what's going on? There we go. We got that going up. Just gotta get the. We're right there. Okay, so we lost all of our archers. Don't. What are you doing? Get back here. Build that. Get on this, yeah, get on this side. Build. Come on, let me build the <laughs> let me build the stupid building. There we go. The inhabitants of Borsipa worship Nabu, the god of learning and writing. From now on, they will revere the power of the sword with which we will smash Urzababa's weak rule. There we go. Okay, so we got that team flip now. Okay. Okay, so that's flipped. Now we got our catapults. Now we can get some more bowmen. Add some uh, idle villagers. Let's go ahead and chop in trees. Uh, let's go ahead and have these guys build a sentry tower up on this hill. And then they can come back down and work on those. Grab infantry armor and ranged armor. And then you can even have this one grab metal working. Uh, we're gonna need some more slingers here. So he's got some uh, real tough guys there. The hoplites are not. Do not worry. It is no more than a scratch. Tis but a flesh wound. Um, I guess we can build that up there. Small gate, small wall. Okay. And then we'll we'll just kind of building walls. I see some defenses. I thought that you had dedicated your life to Ishtar. Since when does the goddess of war mm -hmm. approve of shunning the field to cowardly hide behind masonry? Apparently that may have been a mistake. We do have to flip Samaria's, uh, not Samaria, sorry, Sipar still. 
So it looks like we might be able to come up and around. So let's go ahead and... Okay, I think we got enough plenty to uh, come siege this. In fact, we probably don't even need our archers. We're probably going to be leaving these up here. Probably have about as many uh, villagers as we want here. Get too many, and then we don't have enough army. How about no? No conversions here. Or a conversion here, apparently. Go ahead and build a uh, storage pit there. Oh, we don't have any more gold mine? That's what they were doing. Okay. Yes, we definitely need... Oh, that's awkward. I was not paying attention. Oh, man. Okay, well, let's get... Never mind, we don't have any gold. Good job. Good job, team. Okay, we really need to do, get that going. So let's go ahead and start trading with their market. Go ahead and get a few of those. And we're going to want to take some of our wood choppers. Okay, let's just grab our archers down here because this is... Uh, not not as smooth sailing as one would believe. Okay, so I have my anti-infantry anti fighting archers, which is probably not the best. Okay, so we're going to definitely want to go... What's this? 100 there. That's actually trade with, uh, send trade cards up here, too, because this feels safer. Okay. Okay, so that's stabilized there, that region. Um, let's grab you two. That can be bad. Let's spread that out. Spread them out. Try and kill that. Trying to get those the guys that can move faster to move faster. Okay, let's get this ambush taken care of. Oh, shoot. Oh, that's not good. Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. Okay, you don't need gold, you need a little bit of gold. Okay, so let's just build a whole bunch of axemen here. We just need, we need to field troops here. Uh, good news is we can mine this gold. At least it appears we can. Um, we're probably getting fairly close to being able to build an army and go split Sipar. Which would be good. Now that we're starting to get some gold again. Let's go ahead and move over here. And looks like our cavalry is gone, which is okay. Um, let's grab a stone thrower if we can. Faster walls and more health. Probably want to grab some chariots too. Uh, we'll grab another stone thrower as soon as we get that 80 gold. There we go. We'll want some anti-siege here. Okay, yeah, we, we need to start 
start siege in here. Okay, let's, let's move the field of battle up here. Okay, those can't be upgraded. What's happening? Let's get that catapult out of the uh, fight. All right, let's see if what we can start trading out for some better units. There's a lot of catapults here. We probably don't want to probably don't want to engage into that. Do not worry. It is no more than a scratch. Give me a few minutes yeah. to tend to my wounds. Okay. Here we probably want to come down here and we probably want to stop filling up our pop space with axemen. So we'll leave our, our 20 troops there on defense. And we'll move our troops over there. I'm wondering if we can get around and snipe that. Let's see. Let's grab a few villagers. We have plenty of wood, so we should be able to... I'll make that control group six. Alamos. Should be able to bring Alamos. them up here and just kind of run around the back and Abadakis. snipe their uh, snipe their their temple and swap it out, which would be obviously beneficial to ending up getting him. Okay. Then grab Okay, so we're maxed out again. Have that. Get three. Control three. Okay. The star has not called me home yet, man. Forward. Let us smash our enemies. All right. So now we got him back. How about not? How about you just go away? Get it! Get it! There we go. Okay. Yeah, we got a decent amount of chariots out. So we'll make that four. I know I just wiped over the uh, the barracks, but they weren't really doing much anyway. Okay. Yeah, we'll grab nobility because that'll that'll be beneficial for that. More farm generation for food for farm. It's gonna help there. Abadakas. I got I Okay, so we got one siege engine there, another one there. We got some trading happening. Looks like they're just forming troops all around their town center. Um, I guess we can have our our guys up here. We can have them build some stables and reinforce our uh, our uh, chariots faster. Let's go ahead and have these guys come back. Build a uh, stock house down here. 
Um, see if we can convert one of these fellows. There you go. Now you can get him. And we'll bring you back because you're not going to lose to the tower. Okay. Let's have our siege attack the tower and we'll build a siege workshop up here too. And we'll throw a, a sentry tower in just because we can. Okay, there's a scout there we want to get rid of. Love how he just grabs a bone and starts wailing on the guy. Okay, grab our uh, chariots and have them run after that. Stone thrower. Bring our chariots back. We centralize everyone here. Make sure I'm not getting attacked somewhere I don't think I am. Grab that. Go take that. We'll have the cavalry kind of guard the flank here. Rogan? And then once they're done there, these guys can get ready to come build a temple up here. Okay, you guys are basically on catapult duty. Let's run around and take out the catapults. Place of worship is destroyed. Now build that. Build a new temple over its ruins so that the inhabitants of the city will follow Ishtar. There we go. We're flipping people. We don't want to. We don't want to um, destroy too much here because we want them to actually be able to contribute. Okay. So we got them. were once blinded by the sun god. But they have now seen the light. Their warriors will make fine additions to Ishtar's army. We'll go and rebuild that. Get that, and we'll just start attacking down here. Are we on population? We're able to throw in some more chariots. So we'll do that, and we just have to be able to get to him. So they recommended that we went up around the top, which is probably what we'll do. You guys kind of just surrounded the guy and didn't do anything. It is sacrilege to tear down the temples of pious men, Zargon. Is this your idea of a new order? You are building on quicksand, my friend. Love it, I Okay, I think we got this pretty well close to wrapped up. Having the, the chariots is definitely nice. Uh, yeah, so we'll just have the cavalry kind of run around and pull those out. There we go. There's that one. Not too worried about the one over here at this point. I'm more interested in making towards the objective. Yuri, Yuri. Uh, so you guys, you can just come and we'll build a couple Humbus. of storage pits, Humbus. and we'll split it. So you Yuri. guys, Hilare, top one. You two build the Humbus. bottom one. Okay, and for five, we'll make that our uh, our priest, and you can join our infantry division. Oh good, we got our, our catapults hard at work here. So we'll go ahead and we'll position on this side of the wall. Uh, There's not really anything we can uh, build unit-wise because population cap. 
Uh, you have one more that you can bring out. Bring to bear, so we'll bring that out. And we'll get the priest out here. We'll go ahead and get the uh, priest upgrades to get him moving. Uh, it looks like our uh, villager divisions are well enough. Looks like they both give food contributions. Definitely a lot of troops up towards the top there we're probably going to have to fight through. But it looks like we may want... And I see a Get lot of chariots. Get away from my land, Zargon! Uh -oh. Remember that I exiled you from the... I have a Fury? We'll have our catapults aimed towards the back there. Uh, I think we're going to want our stables to actually produce uh, camel riders. Because of all the chariot riders that we see inside the city. Uh oh. I want to get a second priest. Okay, let's go ahead and get the party started here. We'll go ahead and leave the priests in the back. Uh, we'll have the catapults target the sentry tower. And we'll have, we'll kind of position our archers up towards this hill. And we'll have our chariots and camel riders kind of ready to jump on anything that comes for either side. Okay, so there goes the tower. Now let's tear the gate down. Gotta keep these guys from being dumb and going where they don't, they're not needed to. Alright, let's kind of run in here and see what we're up against. We get our archers to target these guys, and so now we can hit them. Looks like our catapults can cause friendly fire, which is good to know. I don't think we need to charge up there, but we'll tear the gate down so if we do get charged, we're okay. We'll have our catapults take the uh, tower here. And we should be good to just dogpile in there, probably. Definitely want to get this catapult out before he hits our catapults too much. I think we have this under wraps. We might might take a couple of waves here. Yeah, so we'll do that and then we'll reinforce with our camel riders as we lose troops. Jump on that. I was right! Him. This man has come to kill me! Just as the prophecy foretold! There we go. Just dogpile everyone on killing him. There we go. The taste of death is upon my lips! All is lost! Are we going to win, or what's the, uh... There we go. Good old victory sign. Uh, no cutting corners. Subdue both Sipar and Borsipa, and then win a game. We got another two achievements there. As we entered the royal palace in Kish, I swelled with joy and pride. Sargon had triumphed, and it seemed that this man, blessed by Ishtar, was truly invincible. Yet in my quiet moments, I wondered if it would ever have come to this if Urzababa had not expelled Sargon. Had we fulfilled a prophecy? Or had a simple dream become prophecy only after the fearful king sealed his own fate? Dreams and oracles, visions and prophecies it seems that these mysterious forces can be as dangerous to those who believe in them as they are to those who ignore them. Okay. We probably took way longer than we needed to on that campaign. I tend to play more cautious than is necessary. 
Um, so let's go. So we definitely had didn't have the largest army, which makes sense because we could literally not field that big of an army with our max population. Um, we didn't. We did pretty good on buildings lost. Um, that was just yeah. Economy could have produced more food, but we got everything else. So that's cool. Um, yeah, research count we did pretty well. Society, villager high. So we did have plenty of villagers. Uh, looks like the wonder is the big victory or the big score for society because nothing else seems to matter. Yeah, we probably probably dragged it on longer than we needed to, but that's okay. Thank you everyone for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to like and comment. I'm always interested in people's feedback. But most importantly, have a great day and remember to keep smiling.